Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mark and this is my Vlogmas Day 5. Today I thought I would show you some of our Disney Christmas kitchenware because we have a fair few bits that we've accumulated over the years but we've got quite a few different bits and pieces that kind of they don't really fit under the Christmas decorations bracket so I thought I'd show you around some of our kitchen stuff. First up and probably one of my favourite favourite things that we've got is my Mickey Snowman popcorn bucket. We got this little guy back in 2010. We went over for Mark's birthday and to see all the Christmas stuff at Disney. And obviously I saw the popcorn bucket and just fell in love with it. I thought it was amazing. So he came home with us. He's actually got a funny story now as well because the day we got him, uh, we went over onto Big Thunder Mountain and as I got onto the ride, I did, forgot I had him in my hand and just kind of smashed the side of the train with it and Mark, ever since said that it's the popcorn bucket that I tried to break Big Thunder Mountain with. Next up is possibly one of the ugliest yet most beautiful things that we have for Christmas. I've always been of the opinion that Christmas, if you can't be tacky and over the top of Christmas, when can you? <laughs> that's, that's generally my motto. There is nothing that is too tacky for Christmas. And this one definitely falls into that category. We got this from Disney Store a couple of years ago and it is possibly the most bizarre teapot I've ever seen in my life. Obviously if you've got a teapot you need to have cups and there are two in particular that we absolutely love. They've become a tradition. We always use them on Christmas morning um, to have our first cuppa before we do any presents or anything like that. We always sit down, have a cup of coffee, just try and wake up properly and so on. Although that will probably change now that we've got Sophie. The next one is my personal mug that I use uh, throughout December and of course features my very favourite Disney character Stitch. He's my guy and I absolutely love this mug. Again, it was another one from the Disney store and I believe we got this two years ago. The next one is a bit of a random mug that again just picked up at the Disney store one year. We do that a lot just picking stuff up in Disney store. But again, nice seasonal, happy one. I like the gold handle and the character artwork on this one. It's, I think it's a really pretty mug. Another mug, and this one also came from Disney store, although we did get this one on the website as a Disney Parks product. We particularly like the Disney Parks products, and this one, I just love the artwork on it. Again, it's seasonal, festive, it's great. <laughs> Part of the same range with the same artwork there was also a massive bowl that we got which is what we usually put all of our treats in like the sweets and stuff that we put out for when guests come over and so on we kind of like to indulge <laughs> for our December moving on to a couple of tea plates that we got again all part of the same range came from the parks obviously the plate matches the bowl really really nicely and then we've got another plate which is the cookies for Santa one this actually came with a glass as well and the idea being it was a set for the little ones to put out the milk and cookies for Santa unfortunately the glass was the only piece of glassware that managed to get broken in our house move earlier this year which is a bit of a shame because I was actually really looking forward to doing the whole milk and cookies for Santa and the reindeer with Sophie when she gets a little bit older. So unfortunately I'm going to have to find an alternative glass or just use something different. It's not that big a deal. You know when you just like, you do something and you have a plan in your mind, yeah, it worked out that way. We also have what is one of my absolute favourite serving bowls purely because A, it's Disney, and B, it's shaped like a Christmas tree. We also have a few pieces, and this is really, really random. We have quite a few pieces from the Disney Eats range, which is obviously for all your cooking and all that kind of stuff, like utensil type stuff. But there was also a few pieces that they did at Christmas that are very specifically Christmas. We still use them all year round anyway, but I thought that they were worth showing. And finally, we have my Mickey Mouse Christmas travel mug, which 
which obviously would be used throughout December when I'm on the commute, which I haven't done for a little bit, but nevertheless, I still love this mug. And so that's all of our Disney Christmas kitchenware. I'm sure there'll be more and more added over the years, but that's, that's everything for now. Well, it would seem that Stitch has bounced right back today. He's in the middle of a snowball fight with Buzz Lightyear and all the other toys are spectating and cheering either side on. It is time to open up my advent calendar for today. Open up the fridge, flip the camera around, getting into a routine now. So we're on number five from the second fridge box. And we have a barrel aged Clown King, which is a US barley wine with an ABV of 13.7%. A strong one that, I have had this before, but it's not one that I, would, I buy very often, so it's a very, very lovely barley wine. I'm gonna enjoy that. And that's gonna do it for day five. As always, thank you very, very much for stopping by and watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then do please give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna carry on seeing content from us, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.